Now at noon, thieves rip an ATM machine right out of the bank's drive through using a forklift before getting away. It all happened overnight in Hialeah. Now the search is on to find the people behind this crime. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live for us in Hialeah with the latest. And Peter, what are police telling you? Well, Elliot, this took some planning. We've learned that the theft of this ATM involved a truck that was stolen from a nearby business to haul it away and a forklift from a nearby McDonald's restaurant under construction that was used to yank it out in the first place. We've also learned that the police investigation took them to a nearby home. A forklift sits outside the back of this Bank of America along East 10th Avenue and 9th Street in Hialeah. The shredded chunks of concrete show where the damage was done in darkness at 3 in the morning. Police said the suspects used the forklift to extract the ATM. When police got here, they found the forklift with the engine running. Hialeah and Miami-Dade police sealed off the area as officers investigated. That investigation took them to a nearby home where this woman told me she had no comment. Next to the bank, a McDonald's restaurant has been under renovation. That's where the foreman says he received a call at 5 in the morning that his forklift had been used by the suspects who were able to hotwire it through these wires and take it to the bank. By 11 in the morning, Hialeah police said the ATM had been recovered with no loss of contents. Back here live right now at the Bank of America in Hialeah. We spoke to the owner of that business whose truck was stolen and is now in police custody. He told me he's shocked in terms of the lengths that thieves will go to and then eventually get away with nothing. We'll have that interview with him tonight on CBS 4 News. Meanwhile, it's not known the police have recovered any surveillance tape. If you can help them find the suspects, call Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. We're live in Hialeah, Peter Danch, CBS 4 News.